little after midnight, we had uh, one of our deputies, uh, Shawnee County deputies there, was calling for assistance. Uh, he apparently had uh, several individuals in a, in a vehicle there, and he was uh, asking for officers to respond because uh, basically it was an unknown subject, possibly a weapon involved there. And with that, it was calling for immediate response from other units there. From that then, uh, some of our deputies and some of the police department uh, officers responding to the scene uh, at I-70 and, and the McVicker were upon two uh, officers there, one Shawnee County Sheriff deputy and Topeka Police Department officer were responding southbound over the uh, Topeka Bridge here. Uh, at the same time, or right about that same time there, just a moment after the call came out, uh, the officers had disregarded the other officers there. Basically, the situation was pretty much in control. Uh, uh, from what I understand, you had the police officer was traveling southbound in the outside lane, and behind him was the deputy that was in the inside lane. Uh, the officer, from what I understand, was... Uh, basically shutting down and was going to make a U-turn for what we understand to respond to another call that he originally was going to and that was checking on the welfare of an individual who was possibly going to uh, harm herself. Uh, but in the process of making a U-turn, two cars collided on the bridge there. From what I understand, two officers were taken to a local uh, hospital to check on their, their injuries. From what I understand, it's uh, non-life-threatening type of injuries there so but we'll we'll see what they are and we'll check on them a little bit later on uh, because of the two different agencies there I've asked for the Kansas Highway Patrol to come in with their chart or their reconstruction team to uh, investigate the, the crash here with an accident like this I mean obviously they've shut down Topeka Boulevard but you guys have to treat it very carefully because you guys are kind of under a lot more scrutiny than the average Joe in an accident right yeah well it, whether it's it's the average Joe or police officer what we want to look at is just be able to do a, a complete investigation so you don't want to disturb any of the scenes and that's why we shut it down um, yes it is police officers but we would probably take these type of uh, precautions there if it was citizens involved in this type of crash as well when you got the phone call about a deputy and an officer involved in an accident, what was the first thing that went through your mind? You know, first thing, obviously, first thing I'm concerned about is their welfare. How are they doing? Uh, cars and those type of things right there, we'll replace those, but it's the officer's welfare. And so I'm concerned about what happened, how they're doing, what happened that, that transpired to put them in that situation. And we'll sift through all the, all the other little details. But the main thing is we're concerned about our officers involved in this.